Praise God. Good morning, everyone, and welcome to Church of the Open Bible here at 12 Washington Boulevard, Kingston 20, Jamaica, West Indies. As always, for the benefit of those who have chosen to join with us in worship this morning on this beautiful, bright, sunshiny Sunday morning, can we stand together in the house of the Lord and just lift our hands and give the Lord a good shout of praise for his goodness to us. Hallelujah. 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 What a beautiful day it is. And for those of us who may not be feeling so well or you're feeling a little down or tired, this is the day that the Lord has made. And what will we do? Rejoice and be glad in it. Let me see those smile. Just turn to somebody close to you and shake their hand and say, God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. God bless all of those who are with us this morning in the house of the Lord. I was glad when they said unto me, let's go into the house of the Lord. Amen. We are going to lift up praise unto our God. Our pastor is off on the mission field as usual. But we are here to hold the force, Minister Wait and myself and the leadership team here. And we are absolutely delighted to be with you in worship this morning. When I think of the goodness of Jesus and what he has done for me. Oh, my soul cries out, hallelujah, thank God for saving. All right, here what we're going to do. We're going to do one more time. That was a good warm-up. Here what we're going to do. When we reach, my soul cries out, hallelujah. I want every child of God to lift your hands. When we say, my soul cries out, hallelujah. Thank God for saving me. Are you happy that the Lord has saved your soul? Give the Lord a hand clap of praise. <laughs> Hallelujah. Here we go now. When I think of the goodness of Jesus and what he has done for me. to invite my co-laborer in the vineyard that I'm so pleased with, our young minister, our youth pastor, to come and open for us in prayer. And right following the prayer, we are going to be having us being led by the group chosen in a time of singing and praise and worship unto our God. Amen, church. Amen, Amen church. Amen. Praise the Lord, church. Amen. Hallelujah. God bless you. Let us pray. This is the day that the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. We thank you, Lord, for your grace. We thank you, Lord, for your mercies. We thank you, Lord, that we are in your presence. One more morning to lift up your holy name, to glorify, to magnify, to acknowledge that you are Lord, you are God all by yourself. So we pray even now, mighty God, that you will just move in our midst, God, and you will move in a mighty way. God, we pray that yokes will be broken, burden will be lifted. We pray, God, that signs and wonders 
uh, will take place among this congregation. We pray, God, that somebody will testify, oh God Almighty, oh, you have touched them uh, in a special way this morning. So, Lord God, uh, those in house and those online, uh, we just pray for your blessing upon them. We pray, God, uh, that you will just move uh, in this service and that the Holy Spirit uh, will have his way uh, in our service. So, God, we just commit uh, the entire congregation, we commit uh, everyone into your hands uh, and we say, Father, be glorified, be magnified uh, among us. Uh, in your holy name, I pray. Amen Hallelujah. and amen chosen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord, for your goodness. Thank you, Lord, for your mercy. We lift you up this morning, God, because there's none like you. Hallelujah. Give the Lord a shout of praise this morning. Hallelujah to the King of kings and the Lord of lords. Hallelujah. Are you standing on the solid rock this morning? You know Satan can't prevail, right? Let me see the hands of those who know Satan cannot prevail. And we're going to tell him this morning. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Glory be to the name of Jesus.
the mighty God we serve. Just give him praise this morning. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You want him to hear you cry? You can't stand on your own whisper, you know. Amen. Of a shout. Hallelujah. You want him to hear you cry, my sister in purple? Hallelujah. You've got to shout.
If you and Brother Orlando want to bless it, that's fine with me. Because our God, our God, our God is champion. Hallelujah. Let me see the hands of those whose God is champion this morning.
David. Son of the living God. Holy Spirit rain down in us this morning. Jesus. You deserve our praise this morning, Jesus. You deserve it all, Jesus. Our hallelujah belongs to you this morning, Lord. Jesus. Glory to the name of Jesus. My hallelujah belongs to you. No one else but you, Jesus. My hallelujah belongs to you. My hallelujah. My hallelujah belongs to you. Jesus, our hallelujah belongs to you this morning, God. My hallelujah belongs to you. And where are we, what are we going to tell him right now this morning, God? Says, you deserve it.
give him one word and a shout of hallelujah. hallelujah. Hallelujah to the King of Kings. Hallelujah. 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 Can we just lift our hands and just tell the Lord, Hallelujah. oh God, you are wonderful. Lord, hallelujah. we just worship Amen. and adore you, hallelujah. our King of Kings. Amen. Yes, Lord, Thank our hallelujah God. belongs to you, Amen. Father. Thank you, God. Yes, God. Hallelujah. hallelujah. Yes. Hallelujah. Father, we praise, we glorify, we magnify you, O oh Lord. From everlasting to everlasting, we lift you up, King Amen. of Kings and Lord of Lords. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Is there something you just wanted us to praise the Lord for? Jesus. Maybe he did something miraculous this week for you. Hallelujah. Oh, he brought you here safely to church. Yeah. Hallelujah, Lord. Father, we just thank you. We give you all the glory, all the honor, all the praise. Our oh, hallelujah belongs to you, Father. Hallelujah. You alone are worthy. Hallelujah. Lord, as we bow before you, O oh Lord, with the angels and archangels, O oh Lord. Lord, as the elders cast their crown before you, you are deserving of all our praise. Hallelujah. 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 Can you just turn to your neighbor and just encourage them? Oh, be blessed. Be blessed. Yes. Oh, we're going to sing a song as we greet each other. It is all right. All right. It is all right. As long as I have my Lord beside me, it is all right. As long as I have his hand to hold, Hallelujah. as long as he watches over my soul, yes. as long as he's in full control, oh, yes, it is all right. Come on. It is all right. All right. Can you just move around on the street? It is all right. All right. 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 You have to move as around. As long as I have my Greece. Lord beside me. me. turn to your neighbor one more time and tell them it is all right yes man it is all right friends we want to say welcome to one and all to church of the open bible 12 washington boulevard and um we want you know many people know us as kingston open bible church here on the boulevard let me tell you kingston warm kingston warm man we're ready for you i know somebody is still in the cold up there and so we want to greet all those who are watching us online. We want to say a special, special, special welcome to you all. Can we just give those online a real nice clap? Yes, man. We really appreciate you being with us. Really, really appreciate it. Um, it is such a blessing. Remember, over COVID time, you know, so many persons joined online. 
but we are so happy we are seeing more and more persons coming together so we can have a nice time, you know. I mean, imagine you singing, it's all right, and trying to encourage somebody by yourself. And are you alone? So it is so nice to have everyone, you know, and more and more we want to encourage those who are in Jamaica to be here and those who are overseas, come visit us, come visit us. We need the tourism dollar. So nobody come with an empty pocket. <laughs> I'm only joking, come. <laughs> um, friends, we want to say welcome, a special welcome to those who are visiting us for the first time. Is there anyone here who is visiting us for the first time? Anyone like that? Whoa, wonderful. Please, can you stand and be recognized? Yes. No, man, bigger clap, bigger clap. If you are online and this is your first time, can you just put in the chat number one? Number one in the chat. Please remain sat. No, man, give him a nice and a clap again, man. Yeah, man. That's it. Oh, it's so good to see you. We have someone coming to greet you and to, to just say, encourage you. And please, those who are sitting around them, can you just give them a little word of encouragement? I said, boy, good to see you. Good to see you. And remember, if you don't have a church home, well, welcome home. Welcome home. Ah, is there anyone who's having a birthday today? Anyone with a birthday today or during this past week you had your birthday? Anyone like that? Please, can you stand and be recognized? Oh, we met several persons. Please stand and be recognized. No, man, when I your birthday, you want big clap, you know, so give them big clap, man. Yes, and we have some persons online, and you can see them. Whoa, it's April. It's April. You can't imagine the year of flies, so man. I don't know. It's me. Boy, this year, the sound like, feel like, last year, this feel fast, but this year, year, man, it turn up. The speed just turn up, boy, I tell you, it's amazing. So we want to say, you know, happy birthday again. Um, anyone with a wedding anniversary, anyone with a wedding anniversary this past week or today's your wedding anniversary. Oh, sister dies. Go on, girl. Go on, go on. Anyone else? <laughs> we want that. No, man, get sister dies. Good clap, man. Come, Davis, man. Give her a good clap. <laughs> yes, man. And you see some guests behind me. Don't worry. They'll soon be introduced. Some of them are not guests. Some of them not guests. They might be guessing, but they're not guests. <laughs> and we want to say, but they'll, someone will come and introduce them very, very soon. We want to say a special welcome to a, 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 a really wonderful guest we have here with me. It is Andrea Baker from Virginia, USA. Her ministry is Go Connect, a global ministry connecting the deaf and those who work with the deaf across the globe. Now, man, big things, big things. What a wonderful ministry. Bless you, bless you, bless you, bless you. You know, you don't know what to greet them. Yes, yes. <laughs> All right. And at this time, oh, wonderful, <laughs> Andrea. Okay. So, Andrea is here visiting, and we really, really appreciate you coming and being a part of our service this morning, Andrea. Um, please do come again whenever you're in Jamaica. You know that this is the place to be right here. <laughs> All right. Okay. And now we're going to have the children going off to Children's Church. So we are inviting the children to stand and come forward as we pray for them and we encourage them as they go off to children's church. So can you encourage the children? Um, uh, uh, you know, those, uh, is not, is the young ones the one, not those that are young at heart. The children and the teachers. So like me now, who would be young at heart, would want to go down there. But <laughs> the children, wow. You know what, I'm really impressed by seeing more and more children coming out. And we're really, really blessed to see them. And we want to encourage you, you know. Encourage them to come. You know, encourage your children, grandchildren to be out. This week we saw some unfortunate things happening in halfway tree. We need to pray. We need to encourage. Not just pray. We need to encourage. We need to do what we can to encourage parents and grandparents and uncles and aunts. To, to really guide our children in a very positive way. All right? And so... Okay, we're going to pray for them. So can you just stretch your hand towards them? Uh, great stuff, man. Great stuff. Let us pray. Father, we just thank you, God, for these young ones. Lord, we pray, Father, that you will just bless them indeed and enlarge their territory and that your right hand will be upon them that, oh God, that evil may not grieve them and trouble them. Cover them, oh Lord, that your angels just surround them. Lord, as they go off uh, children's church, Lord, may your words sink deep in their heart. Oh, Lord, as we try to grow them up in the way that they ought to grow, that when they are old, they shall not depart from it. 
Lord, we just ask you to touch them in a special way. Lord, help them to be a witness to others as they go to school, O oh God. Cover now, O oh Lord, and just guide them and let your name be praised as they go off to Children's Church. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. Can we give them a nice clap? Yes, man. Yes, man. Jesus loves the little children, all the children of the world. Whether they are black or white, all are precious in his sight. Jesus loves the little children of the world. Give them another hand as they go. Hallelujah. Bless them, Lord. Bless them. We are going to stand together as we sing the beautiful hymn, Jesus Saves. We have heard the joyful sound, Jesus Saves. Can we stand together as we ask multimedia, please? Could you cue up the words of that beautiful hymn for us? And I'm going to invite Sister Jackie and team from Chosen to come and help us to sing this beautiful hymn. Praise God. Jesus Saves. We have heard the, the joyful sound, Jesus said, Jesus said, spread the tidings all around, Jesus said, Jesus said, there's a news to every land, like the mountains cross the wind.
Elder Blackwood is coming to lead us. Hallelujah. 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 Lord, you're King of Kings and you're Lord of Lords. The conquering lion of the tribe of Judah. You break every chain and you give us victory again and again and again. We are grateful to you, Father God. We come before your presence with thanksgiving, God, and into your courts with praise. We lift up your name, God. You are God of all. You are almighty God. You are in control of all our situations. And this morning, we just glorify you. Thank you, Jesus. Lord Jesus, we only come before you because of your grace and because of your mercy. And so, God, as we come, we're asking for a washing. We're asking for a cleansing, Lord Jesus. Let your blood that flows from Calvary just move through this place, Lord. Every pew, Lord, every seat, every person who stands here. Father God, we are in need of your washing. We're in need of your cleansing, Father God. We are in need of you, Lord God, more of you, Lord Jesus. In the sin-cursed world, we realize it is so difficult sometimes, oh God. We get distressed. Lord, we get depressed. Our hearts are low, Father God. Lord, we are embarrassed sometimes. But God, you are still in control. And we thank you, Jesus. We bless your holy name. Lord God, as we come before you, God, you see the needs of your people this morning. Lord, we may not know them individually, but God, the individuals who are standing here know them. So in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, we're asking you to sweep through, Lord God, every situation that we face this morning. Some of us are in trouble, oh God. We feel it day and night. Coming to church is the only sanctuary we have. Lord, when we come into your presence, we can forget the troubles at home. We can forget the trouble in our community. We can forget the trouble in our marriages. We can forget the trouble with our children. Lord, we can put all the addictions aside. Lord, here is sanctuary. But Lord God, God, we are just asking you in your mercy, Lord, that you will touch the troubled waters this morning. Now, Lord God, you will trust the situations at our home, touch the situation in our communities, oh God. Crime and violence is rampant, Lord God. Some of us at nights, we can't even sleep because of the noise. We can't sleep because of the gunshots. We can't sleep because of the bad words, Lord God. We can't sleep because of so many problems. Father God, in the name of Jesus, we plead for our country. We plead for our communities. We plead for our families, oh God. And we are asking you, dear God, that you just mingle yourself among us, Lord. Touch and heal, Father God. We ask you to mend the broken fences. We ask you, dear God, to bring us back to a people, Lord, who worship you and lift up your name and praise your name. Let your name be on our lips, Lord God. Those of us who are Christians, keep us on our knees, Lord God. Keep us calling upon you, O oh God, recognizing, Lord, from you come our help, from you come our strength, from you come deliverance, from you comes our healing, from you, Lord Jesus, come all the breaking of our problems and our situations. And so this morning, oh God, we're just asking you to help us, Lord, to keep ourselves, Lord, close to you, draw us to you, Lord Jesus. You say that, Lord God, if you be lifted up, you will draw all men, oh God. And so we are lifting you up this morning. Father God, we put our church in your hand, oh God. We put all the members, all the adherents. Lord, we put our board before you. We put OBSCJ, Lord God, every single member of the board who makes a decision on behalf of this great church. Father God, we're asking you for more wisdom. We're asking you for more understanding. We're asking you, dear God, for more strength, Lord. When it gets difficult, Father God, we're asking for perseverance. We're asking you, dear God, that when it gets difficult, Lord God, help us to push ahead. Even as you pushed ahead, Lord, through your own difficulties when you were here on earth. Lord God, we bring Cetus before you, Lord, in a special way this morning. We bring the president, Lord Jesus, before you. God, you recognize the troubles and the trials that attend that institution. Lord, you know the problems that attend some of the students who attend that institution. But God, we bring them 
before you this morning. We're asking, dear God, for great leadership from you. Lord Jesus, we're asking you to touch our president. We're asking you to touch her in a special way, oh God. Connect her before you, God, even more. Keep her on her knees, Lord God. Give her new ideas, Lord. Lord, help her, Lord, to trust you more and more. Father God, touch the hearts of our congregation, Lord Jesus. Even now as we are on a promotion drive, Father God, touch our hearts so that we may be able to give into that institution. Bless the students who are enrolled. We know the trials that some of them face. God, the money is to be paid. Oh God, we know it is difficult at times. But Lord God, you own a hundred thousand cattle on a thousand hills. And so there's no lack in you, Father God. And so we're asking you to open the windows of heaven, Lord, and provide for your people here there and everywhere Lord Jesus where there is lack father God we're asking you to provide in your way Lord God and in your own good time bless us Lord Jesus bless each and every member Lord God bless our communities one more time oh God bless our church father God Lord Jesus we are under you and we are depending on you to lead to direct bless our past in a special way pastor King he's not with us this morning he's traveling father God we're asking you to cover him him. Cover him with your divine blood, Lord God. Fill him one more time with your Holy Spirit. Let it rile up in him one more time, Lord. And as he preaches and says, thus let the Lord, may his souls, Lord God, be born into your kingdom. We glorify your name and we thank you, Lord Jesus. We say to you, be honor, to you, be glory, Lord, to you, be power. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. As you are sitting down, can you just lift your hands, man, and let us just give God worship. God, you are a good God. God, you are an awesome God. You are worthy of all honor, glory, and praise. What an awesome God we serve. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. You know, as um, Deacon Eric was praying for the children, the Holy Spirit, tell me to tell the church members, when you are sending out your children, grandchildren, niece, nephews, send them out to school, pray for them. Anoint them, pray for them. A real devil is out there and he's doing everything that he can to destroy our children. Cover your children as you send them out on a daily basis. We saw in the news where uh, a child was also murdered. I think it was Friday or Thursday. Another one stabbed the other one, killed the other one. So these things are happening. The enemy is trying to destroy this generation. But I decree and declare, and I'm not being selfish, that open Bible members, your children, will not die violently. You will not get a news that your child got stabbed up at school or on the road. We speak over the lives of our children. And a quick one, when I talk about say God is good, I mean, you know, I can't overemphasize how good God is. Friday, um, I was going up by Belvedere section because my in-laws live up that side. And while going up, I reach a section where when I put my foot on the brake, there was no brake. So me I wonder what I go on. So anyway, I stopped, pump up the brake, kept on driving. Still I give me that soft feeling. So anyway, after I reach up by my in-laws place and park the car and come out of the car, I start to see some more coming from the the, 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 the headlamp, so I wonder what I go on. Church, when I look in the engine section, fire. <laughs> the car was on fire. My wife was in the car sleeping because we were dropping off something. And I me could have said, babes, the car is on fire. She had to just run out, run out, if I want put on her shoes. I had to call my father-in-law and say, bring some water, please. Bring some water out the fire. I realized that um, the brake cables, they were on fire. And just imagine now me coming down the hill and coming down and doing like this. And there is no brake. Church, God is a good God. 
are coming down the hill and the car just catch on fire. Right? God is indeed a good God. So, I will now have, we will now have um, the launch of CT's 70th anniversary activities. And this will be done by the principal, Sister Gillian White. And following her, the team leader, um, Sister Raquel Ricketts Lee, will come to do the introduction of the students. Good morning, Kingston Open Bible Church. Do I have a witness this morning who can testify that the Lord saves, and not only does he save, but he keeps, and not only does he keeps, but he sustains. No, man, that is not a good witness. Hallelujah! My God saves, my God keeps, and my God sustains. And what a wonderful testimony of God's grace and protection. It is really a pleasure to be in the house of the Lord. There is no other place that we should be but in the house of the Lord. And so this morning, I really want to extend special greetings and acknowledgement to the members of the pastoral team led by Reverend Franklin King, Kingdom Open, King, Kingston, sorry, Open Bible Church, family, and the wider community. Greetings. The Open Bible Standard Churches of Jamaica, other denominations, Jamaican communities, and members in the diaspora owe a debt of gratitude to the College of Theological and Interdisciplinary Studies, formerly Jamaica Open Bible Institute, for the contribution the college has made and continues to make in preparing and equipping men and women for the ministry. CITIS stands among the few theological institutions in Jamaica with the highest enrollment. <laughs> Despite the challenges of theological education and the reduced interest of many in offering themselves for the ministry, and for this we are grateful. Can we give, our, give another round of applause? for God's faithfulness. So this year marks 70 years of faithfulness to the mission of training men and women for service in the local church and beyond. Many of our graduates serve as pastors, ministers, evangelists, Bible study teachers, counselors, missionaries, Christian workers, and Sunday school teachers. Others function effectively in their roles as deacons, deaconesses, and various ministry leadership roles. It is therefore fitting that the 70th anniversary committee and the school board have chosen the theme, faithful to the mission, pursuing the vision to celebrate this platinum year. It is with great pleasure to officially announce in this rally service the activities to celebrate this significant milestone. And so for this year, we will commence our activities with a family sports day on Saturday, May the 18th at the complex. We will also have, which we are in, extending an invitation to all persons interested, an anniversary lecture series, lecture series virtually, focusing on the topic, contextualization, relevant to culture, faithful to scripture. And this is scheduled for Monday, June the 10th, 2024, from 6.30 p.m. to 8.30 p.m. We will also be having an anniversary health fair on Saturday, August the 24th at the Open Bible Complex, Twitnam Park. We will also have an anniversary banquet and awards scheduled for Saturday, November the 2nd, and you have sufficient notice to prepare so all the alumni members, all the graduates of CITES of J Jamaica Open Bible Institute and the CITES. We are inviting you to celebrate with us in this anniversary. And for this service event, we will be honoring all our past principals, administrators, 
presidents of the school and all the lecturers who have served the institution for a period of time. And we will culminate this year of activities with our anniversary service on Sunday, November the 10th, and you will be provided additional information. So between now and the activities as they come along your church, um, communication team will provide additional information concerning these events, the cost for the banquet, the location for the anniversary service. And I want to complete this launch by inviting alumni members and all persons, partners of the institution to contribute to our CT 70th Development Fund. And so all persons, we are asking you to give a one-time gift between $3,500 to $7,000 towards the cities. And of course, if you want to pledge $70,000, we welcome that contribution signifying the 70th year. So the 7,000 really speaks to the to this 70th, but if persons cannot afford the 7,000, then we have that. We ask you for a contribution of 3,500. And this fund will be used as we prepare ourselves as an institution for accreditation. This fund will aid in terms of improving our technology, improving our library facilities, both physical and online, and providing scholarships for our students. And for this 70th year, we want to offer seven students who sense the call of God on their lives for pastoral training, a partial scholarship of 70,000 for this new academic year, which will begin in September. And so starting next week, we will be distributing um, let envelopes designated for this purpose to the different churches. We're asking you to collect one. You can place the funds in the envelope and then you can give it to your church office and they will hand it over to the, the Open Bible head office. And so I want to thank the leadership again for allowing us to launch and to announce the activities that we will use to commemorate CT's 70th year, faithful to the mission, pursuing the vision. The Lord bless you. Good morning, church. Can we put our hands together for the Holy Spirit? In him we live, in him we move, in him we have our very being. It is a privilege to be in the house of the Lord this morning. My name is Sister Raquel Ricketts Lee. I am the team leader and a final year student at the College of Theological and Interdisciplinary Studies, studying um, a bachelor's in biblical and pastoral studies. The privilege is mine this morning to introduce my esteemed team members. It is the Apostle Paul who encourages Portage uh, Timothy to study, to show thyself approved. And we, by extension, we have taken on that mandate. And for that reason, we are standing here this morning. So first, I'd like to introduce Sister Cherie Smith, who is studying bachelor's in theology, who is a first year student. <laughs> Secondly, we have Sister Sharon Hunter, who is a final year student studying biblical and pastoral studies. We have Sister Tamara Maxwell Green, bachelor's in theology, third year student. We have Brother Kino, a first year student, bachelor's in theology. We have Brother Devin Smith, bachelor's in theology, second year student. Sister Donna Edwards, biblical and pastoral studies, a diploma student. And we have with us Elder Zachary, who will be bringing the word as well. He's a graduate and he studied uh, theology. 
And as we progress with the program, I'd also like to acknowledge all members of the pastoral body, all leaders, administrative leaders as well. And we'd like to acknowledge our principal, Sister Gillian White. Can we put our hands together for her this morning? Following, we'll be having Sister Sharon Hunter with the Cetus Focus. A hymn by the Cetus students. The scripture reading will be done by Brother Kino Thompson, which is Judges 2, 1 to 23. I thank you and I leave the program in the care of the Holy Ghost. Gabrielle Hines. Gabrielle seemed to be a little gem. So we have Sister Gabrielle Hines, a Bachelor in Theology, first year students. Good morning, good morning. Hear me? Okay. My charge this morning is to bring the CITES focus this morning. I'll be reading the focus this morning. The College of Theological and, Inter and Interdisciplinary Studies, CITES, is the official training arm of the Open Bible Standard Churches of Jamaica. This year, the school will be celebrating 70 years, as was mentioned by our principal, of faithful services to the mission of equipping the body of Christ. Many of our graduates now serve as pastors, ministers, Bible study teachers, evangelists, missionaries, Christian workers, Sunday school teachers, and others who function effectively in their role as deacons, deaconesses, and youth ministry leaders in their local churches. Currently, the school offers four full programs of study. Listen carefully, that's why we're here this morning for the focus. The school offers a Bachelor of Arts in Theology, a Diploma in Counseling, a Diploma in Biblical and Pastoral Studies, of which I'm a graduate also, a Diploma in Biblical Studies and Counseling, a Certificate and Certificate, certificate Courses in Counseling and Biblical Studies, Short Courses in Spiritual Warfare, Biblical preaching, church leadership, basic skills in counseling, understanding the Bible. As simple as that, we have a course in understanding the Bible. For persons who really come into Christianity and don't know much about the Bible, we have a short six weeks course in that understanding the Bible. Music and worship, hallelujah. Human resource and financial management for churches and more to come on stream as the school seeks to address the needs of our local churches. So we are not, we are a full house, an education arm that doesn't really stick only to biblical st studies, we are expanding, okay? So you're thinking about a career, young people, you're thinking about going into um, a vocation, the Lord is calling you, you have that tug on your heart, please. The College of Theological and Interdisciplinary Studies is seeking you, right? Um, come September 2024, it will, it will be a little different from the normal years. The school will be offering one full program of study, the Bachelor of Arts in Theology, with two exit points. In year two, in year two students can graduate. In the second year, the students can graduate with an associate degree in theology, and for year three and four, students can specialize in either counseling, theology, or leadership, and will graduate with a bachelor's degree at the end of four year. Prospective students can also enroll for one year to earn a certificate or enroll to do specific courses. As students, we have been transformed by being a part of the CITES family. We have, fully we have fully qualified teachers who are committed to seeing us succeed, not only in our academic life, but in our spiritual 
family, church life, community life, and work life. And I can testify of that. Our teachers are educated up to the PhD level, and they are skilled at what they are doing. I have a, I have a, 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 a master's degree in management studies, and I'm going to be very honest with you. When I went to CITES, I thought I did it all. However, this is an institution that presses out everything out of you. It was J-O-B-I once, it takes the job out of I. You know, you're an olive, and believe me, the oil is going to crush out of you. It takes it to a different and a higher level of studies. You know, I can, I mean, I've studied all the years of my life, I can tell you, but CITES, I would recommend for further studies. So young people, many persons are trying to see where should I go, what should I do? You know, and you have you're such strong persons in ministry at the church, you know, go to the college. It's an excellent institution I can recommend. It's very hard work, thank you, <laughs> thank you. You know, it's hard, hard work, but I'd recommend the college. And we're, it's spiritually based. It's such a nice feeling that when you get in in the evenings, you know, and we're having online courses now, so it's not as difficult to travel all the way to the campuses. We have three campuses. We have in the Twickenham Park area, we have Montego Bay and Maypen. But most of the courses are done online. So if you're thinking about studying, you know, it's never too late to learn anything. You must always keep that brain, you know, refreshed and activated, right? If you desire to know more about God and his word, to grow in your leadership and ministry, and to be one approved by God, there is a place at CITES for you. No matter what age, you can come. We are inviting you. Let me just say this. We, the students, we are available this morning with brochures for more detailed information on the courses. So I, th I think a table should be at the entrance of the church. We will be there. Um, you can come to us and we, you can do your registration. And to get more information from us, we are here to serve you. Um, that's it. The cost, there are different costs. We will tell you about that, the cost, when you meet with us. Please collect one before you leave, and if you're interested, you can complete a preliminary application form, and the school will follow up with you. We also have applications for upcoming short courses that you can collect and return to us at the end of the service. And I should leave this verse with you, 2 Timothy 2.15, which says, study to show thyself approved unto God, a workman that needed not to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. Thank you. Good morning, church. All right, so we will be reading the scripture passage, which is taken from Judges chapter 2. I'll be reading from the ESV version. I'm going to ask us, please, to stand, and we will be doing alternate reading. All right, so we are there. We're going to be saying amen. All right. Now the angel of the Lord went up from Gilgal to Bochim, and he said, I brought you up from Egypt, you, sorry, and brought you into the land that I swore to give to your fathers. I said, I will never break my covenant with you. What is this you have done? So now I say, I will not drive them out before you, but they shall become thorns in your sides, and, and here, sorry, 
Let me start again. So no, I say, I will not drive them out before you, but they shall b become thorns in your sides, and here, and here's, here, and here God shall be as near to you. As soon as the angel of the Lord spoke these words to all the people of Israel, the people lifted up their voices and wept. And they called the name of that place, Bokim, him, and they sacrificed there to the Lord. When Joshua dismissed the people, the people of Israel went each to his inheritance to take possession of the land. And the people served the Lord all the days of Joshua and all the days of the elders who, who outlived Joshua, who had seen all the great work that the Lord had, had done for Israel. And Joshua, the son of Nun, the servant of the Lord, died at the age of 110 years. And they buried him within the boundaries of, of his inheritance in Timoth, Hears, in the hill country of Ephraim, north of the mountain of Gash. And all that generation also were gathered to their fathers, and there arose an And the people of Israel did what was evil in the sight of the Lord and served the Baals. And they abandoned the Lord, the God of their fathers, who had brought them out of the land of Egypt. They went after other gods from among the gods of the peoples who were among them, bowed down to them, and they provoked the Lord to anger. They abandoned the Lord and served the Baals and the Ashtorites. So the anger of the Lord was kindled against Israel, and he gave them over to plunderers who plundered them, and he sold them into the hands of their surrounding enemies so that they could no longer withstand their enemies. Whenever they marched out, the hand of the Lord was against them for harm, as the Lord had warned and as the Lord had sworn to them, and they were in terribly distress. Then the Lord raised up judges who saved them out of the hand of those who plundered them. Yet they did not listen to their judges, for they swore, word after other gods and bowed down to them. They soon turned aside from the way in which they forfa which their fathers had walked, who had obeyed the commandments of the Lord, and they did not do so. Whenever the Lord raised up judges for them, the Lord was with the judge, and he saved them from the hand of their enemies all the days of the judge. For the Lord was moved to pity by their groaning because of those who afflicted and oppressed them. But whenever the judge died, they turned back and were more corrupt than their fathers, going after other gods, serving them, and, and bowing down to them. They didn't, they didn't, sorry, they, do, they did not drop, drop any of their practices or their stubborn ways. So the anger of the Lord was kindled against Israel. And he said, because this people have transgressed my covenant that I commanded their fathers and have not obeyed my voice, I will no longer drive out before them any of the nations that Joshua left, left when he died. In order to test Israel by them, whether they will take care to wait, and their fathers did. Or not. All right, so 23 and last. So the Lord left those nations, not driving them all quickly, and he did not give them into the hand of Joshua. Here in Tapotians, God, all the word. Thanks be to God. All right, so we're going to be singing a hymn, and I'm going to be calling on. 
Sister Pickney, can you come assist us with singing of this hymn? On Christ the Solid Rock I Stand. the name of the Lord. Can we give the Lord some worship? Come on, man, we're in the house of the Lord. Let everything that has breath praise ye the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come on, man, give God some worship. Hallelujah. I know that we're on a strict schedule, but let us give God that which is due unto him, the King of glory, the lift of our heads. 
the light of our countenance. Let us shut back the King of Kings this morning. We are in the house of the Lord. This is his house, and we are his people. Hallelujah, Jesus. We worship you this morning. We honor you this morning. We adore you this morning. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah. We magnify you. We declare in this house that there is no God like Jehovah. Hallelujah, Hallelujah, Hallelujah. Jesus. From the rising of the sun to the setting of the same, he is God. We are here this morning because of him. Nothing good that we have done, only because of his grace and his mercies this morning. Hallelujah. Ladies and gentlemen, brothers and sisters in Christ, it is my great honor and privilege this morning to introduce to you a devoted servant of God and a faithful man to the gospel, no other than our beloved elder Zachary Francis. He is a man who has been called by the Lord Jesus Christ to, procl to proclaim his word tirelessly, both in and out of season. Zachary is supported in his ministry by his loving wife, Shante Francis, and their precious son, Nathaniel Francis. Together, they are a dedicated family in serving the Lord. With a solid foundation in theology, Brother Zachary, or Elder Zachary rather, brings depth and insight to his preaching, guided by the Holy Spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us welcome Brother Zachary with hearts eager to hear that which the Lord has to say. Hallelujah. Brother Zachary Francis, he will come to share the word with us this morning. But before Brother Zachary, we'll be hearing a ministry item from the team chosen. And then immediately, Brother Zachary will come as the mouthpiece of the Lord. God bless you. Thank you for your goodness, Lord. We thank you for being merciful. We love you, Lord Jesus. And we just want to minister to your hearts this morning. We hope that you'll be blessed. We are not here because we are performing. We are here to minister unto the Lord and to bless your heart. Just wave your hand to the Lord this morning. Thank you, Lord, for your goodness. Awesome, God.
of the Holy Spirit upon this place. I'm pressing on the upward way new heights I'm gay in every day still pray is here this morning is there a worshiper here this morning is there somebody to lift up the name of Jesus Christ in this place this morning do you know that he's worthy to be praised this morning 
He's worthy to be lifted up this morning. He's worthy to be exalted this morning. Can somebody lift up the name of Jesus in Kingston Open Bible this morning? Lord, we worship you, Lord, we worship you. We worship you, Lord, we worship you, Lord. Hallelujah, Lord, you are worthy, Lord. You are worthy, Lord, you are worthy, Lord. You see, there's a reason why God said, send Judah first. There's a reason why he says send Judah first. When you send the praisers, the atmosphere has to change. You see, if we come and just preach, then, then, then maybe we'll just be playing church this morning. But when you come, and you come to him with a broken heart, with, with a contrite spirit this morning, can somebody praise the Lord in Kingston Open Bible Church this morning? Yes, Lord, we worship you, Lord. Yes, Lord, we lift up your name in this place. Jehovah, we lift up your name in this place. You are kings of kings and lords of God. Hallelujah, Lord, we worship you, Lord. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. You may be seated. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Something is going to happen in this place today. I hear the Lord say there's going to be a mighty move in this place this morning. And it's not because of me this morning. So you don't have to look at me. <laughs> I'm not the giver. Ah, I'm just a messenger this morning. Father, we thank you this morning. We lift up your name in this place this morning, Father. Father, we strip away everything, mighty God, that is not of you this morning. And we say, Lord, take all the glory this morning. Take all the honor this morning. Take all the praise. Oh, Father, I have already decreased, Lord God, and you have already increased. Father, this morning we decree in this place that the Holy Spirit will move mightily and powerfully in this place this morning. Father, somebody will come with a miracle. Somebody will come to the Lord this morning. Father, we decree it in the name of Jesus Christ. And we tell you thanks. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. Kingston, morning. Oh, good morning. I forgot that you, I can't just say morning. I have to say good morning. Let me first acknowledge the Holy Spirit who is our Lord and Savior, and the, our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. I also want to acknowledge Reverend King in his absence, and uh, Minister Davis, and their goodly youth pastor, wonderful man of God. This morning, also, let me acknowledge in the crowd, my wife, Mrs. Francis, just wave. And... Uh, Make we get into it now. We just want to get into it, right? All right. And so the scripture was read from Judges 2, 1 to 23. And just to give a little background on the scripture, we want to understand, even though the scripture itself says it, that in the time when Joshua would have crossed the river Jordan, and he would have done so much great exploits after him take over from Moses. Here comes Joshua's chapter ending. So this is the end of the reign of Joshua as leader of Israel. Amen? And so we found that after Joshua died, something significant happened. The people forgot God. And when we think about it, we would wonder to ourselves, haven't they been around Joshua? Then Joshua wouldn't show them and tell them of the things that God has done. He wouldn't he pass on the heritage to the next generation? 
Wouldn't he tell them of the mighty works, how the hand, how the Lord would use a mighty hand to deliver them from Israel? How they were in the wilderness for 40 years. You would have thought Joshua would have told the next generation this, not true? Then how did he forget? How did they forget Jesus? How did they forget the God will part the Red Sea? Ladies and gentlemen, I come to you with a topic this morning. A godly heritage. A godly heritage. And before I delve into the topic, I want to tell you something about me when I was younger. I grew up with my grandfather. And I used to sleep in the same bed where my grandfather was sleeping. I was very poor. Very poor. And so, every morning, my grandfather would wake up and he would start to pray. And he would use his foot and kick me and say, wake up. Uh, so, you know, young boy, you know, wake up. Uh, Papa, every day, Papa just a pray, 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 pray. But Papa have a lot of goats. And so I love the goats. So when Papa kick me and say, wake up, I will go to the goat pen. Sometimes we leave Papa today, I pray all long. I mean, I say, no, Papa, I pray too long now. We go out there, out there, wait. And so every time I go in the goat pen, I love the goats. Every, everybody would say, you know, when your grandfather dead, are you going to get the goat? And one day I said to Papa, Papa, when you, when you pass on, you're going to leave your goat then, give me? And Papa said, don't worry yourself about that. And every day, I get up and I start count out the goat. And I say, yes, she, Morgan, is my goat. And I count each goat because, Papa, I go leave me goat. Not true. And shortly before my grandfather died, he called me and he said to me, these hands, I can't forget it. I have never turned them to evil. He said, I have walked the path with God. And he told me how he was a vile sinner. And God saved him from smoking and drinking and all of these things. Walking a road at night time, I come from dance and all of these things. And he said to me, I am going. When a man of God leave, then can't tell us that I'm going. Because God tell them. And when my grandfather passed, then thief the goat. They stole the goats. Come in at the yard and take with the goat. Gone with the heritage. At least that's what I thought. But when I looked at it and I was sitting at his funeral and hear persons talking about him, I realized the Holy Spirit would have juked me. Let me put it that way there. Juked me in my heart and said to me, that is the godly heritage of your grandfather. And I said, when I wake up in the morning and begin to pray and start my own journey with God, I realize why Papa used to pray so hard. When I go to church on Sundays, I realize why Papa was never absent from church. Because he knew the God he served. This morning, I come to you with a topic. I propose to you a godly heritage but I propose to you that the believer must be able to demonstrate the power of the Holy Spirit and you might say no that one has been gone somewhere not true in order for us to affect the next generation that they don't forget Jesus we must demonstrate the power of the Holy Spirit listen there's a reason why the little boys them are run up and down and are bust gun, you know. It's not because then they, 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 they lose their way. It is because they don't have that godly example in their lives to show them that this is the way. And if we are going to operate in the next dispensation, we must be able to effect change in the youths around us. And so, when Joshua left, some people would have said Joshua great, but I say Joshua may be in a, in a false shot. Because if you leave the people behind and they don't know Jesus, 
is a wicked generation we are leave behind we. And so this morning, in order to affect that generation, the church has to change. The people has to change their way of thinking and the way how we operate. You see, when we look in the churches today, we see a lot of word being preached. But we don't see Wally Papawa. It will get, get hot in here. We realize that a lot of word is being preached, but we don't see the power. And so the younger generation is saying, where is the power that you talk about? Mama, get up every day and pray, but yet still sickness I eat out, mama. And mama now have the power to tell sickness, say, this is the vessel of the Holy Ghost. You can't stay here. Where is the power in the church? And so, this is, this is not a, a thing where we look at he and she. We have to turn the light inwards. Are we demonstrating the power of the Holy Ghost to the next generation? And so, when I make that big speech there, we have to back it up with scripture, not true? And so, when we examine the following points, we realize that in order to affect the next generation, the believer must, the be, it's not an if nor a but, the believer must demonstrate the power of the Holy Spirit. And this is the argument that I aim to, 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 to put to you this morning. That we must be able to go into the world and not just tell them about Jesus, but show them the power of Jesus. Too much talk. Too much run up and down and dance and feel nice. We, we, we need the power of the Holy Ghost to effect change in the society around us. And so, if we are going to do this, the first point I put to you today, we must develop a hunger for the things of God. We must develop a what? A hunger for the things of God. And the first scripture I like to look at is Acts chapter 1 and verse 13. Acts 1 and verse 13. And that scripture says, And when they were come in, they went up into an upper room, where abode both Peter and James and John and all of the, the, the rest of disciples. Except for Judas. We could just jump in. Verse 14. And they all continued in one accord. Listen. The first thing after, after Jesus leave them in Acts 1 verse 8. He said, tarry here. Tarry here. Until what? Let me see Bible read as them. Until... You receive power. You are endued. Some say endued with power. The Holy Spirit. And what? Power. You see, that is the thing, you know, that I, that I love about that scripture, you know. He said, watch it. But ye shall receive power after the Holy Spirit is come upon you. You see, so after the Holy Spirit come, there should be an outward demonstration of power. And so... What the first thing the disciples started to do was to say, listen, if God said we are going to receive power, I'm going to wait on it. And so it takes something to wait. It takes the staying power to stay in the presence of God. And as believers today, why we are not in the presence is because we are distracted. So we now understand the devices of the enemy, the TikTok and the Facebook. Every time you take up your phone, you know, it's a time that you spend with Jesus, you know. Remember when you take up the phone, it's your free time. Okay, if you did that work, you would not take up your phone, not you? Not you? At your free time, you take, up it, you take up the phone. And this is the time now when we should be in the presence of the Lord, staying and waiting for the power. But TikTok, Facebook, Instagram, gone with it. All sorts of things gone with the believers nowadays. And so we are not, we don't have that staying power. But the Bible said they continued, continue, you know what continue mean? They stayed, they continued on one accord in unity. And he said after some time, 
And when I looked it up, it mean a good look a while. They said maybe a year. Maybe a year. So you see a lot of stain that's in you know? Maybe a year. And it said, after some time, Peter got up in the congregation and he spoke. And the Holy Spirit came on them like fire. And what, what, we, we, we're not focusing on just what happened there, you know. And, and we know this, the Pentecost and all of this. But what we are focusing on is what happened after they received power. And so they did not just sit down with the power. They did not just say, okay, Lord, you give us the power and we are set aside. Make we go lock away ourselves in a Jerusalem and keep to ourselves. When you are endowed with power, it is the power to go out into the world. It is the power to make disciples of all men. And so you find Christians today, the only time you see a demonstration of power is when we come to church. And the silence mean amen. amen. The only time you find us praying for long is when we are in church. The only time you find us speaking in tongues is when we are in church. The only time you find us going down on our knees is when pastor say, come to the altar and go down on your knees. The only time you find believers really looking for Jesus is on Sunday. So what happened to the other six days? There is a only one way we can effect change in this society and it's by the demonstration of the power of the Holy Spirit. And so, we understand that there is a power that came with the Holy Spirit. And that power, in the Greek, it's called the dunamis. The dunamis power. And so, when the Bible said, you will be endowed with power. He was saying you will be endowed with the dunamis. Right? Follow me, I'm going somewhere. And when you look at the word dunamis, it also means the power to do miracles. The power to do signs and wonders. The power to do great works. You see, the problem today is that we have the spirit, but we lack the dunamis. We have the spirit, but we lack the power. Some of, some of us, we're still living on the last tongues we got 10 years ago. And I know we can't get a new one. How are, how are we going to affect the next generation? That is why you find young men and women are in the streets now, killing off each other. Because the church lacked the ability to influence them. Hmm. Anytime you know you know, amen. You know something is going on. And so, we must not only develop a hunger for the things of God, but we must demonstrate the power of the Holy Spirit. Watch this. In 1 Corinthians 4 and verse 16, Paul was saying to the, 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 the people around him, say, listen, when I come, I never came to you with enticing words. I never come to you with words that are of eloquent speech. But I came to you with a demonstration of the Holy Spirit. When I read this, I look by myself and I say, Lord, if you are going to send Zachary anywhere again, don't send me without the power. Don't send me without the power. The persons are going to look at me and say, you sound nice. And you sound good, man. But, but, but where is the power? The next generation is going to them bowl. They are going to ask you the question, where is the power? Why you think they are going to be gathering? Because Obi man has show them power. Why you think they are going to go Dilarance and work all sort of magical and, and science business? Because Obi man has show them power. Where is the power of the people of God? This, this generation is not moved by words anymore. We are, they are moved by the moving of the Holy Ghost immediately. When the Holy Spirit came upon Peter, Peter preached and 3,000 was added. You think Peter did not preach any different gospel? It was the same gospel seasoned with the Holy Ghost. And we have to ask ourselves the question, 
the next generation do we take them in our hand and take the responsibility for the next youth that is coming tomorrow because they're going to lick you down. They're going to come in your house going to rub and teeth. And then we are going to ask the question, Lord, why? Because we never affect them. We never go in to the midst of them and, and, and decide and say, Holy Ghost, and not, and not go stop praying for this boy until I see you lift him up out of the trenches and not stop praying for this boy until I see you shift the influence of the circle that he's in. If each of we grab one and decide, say, Lord, we're not letting them go. We must see the power of God move in their lives. But we can't sit by and allow Jamaica to go under. The church cannot sit by and just decide that we're going to lock the door and come together and who no one come in, stay out. We have to go out there. We have to go out there. And when we go out there, we're not, we can't go out there with just words. Paul said, I never come to you with enticing words. There was one time Paul said, I heard that there are arguments among you. I heard that there are arguments and arguing and rumblings are gone. But when I come, <laughs> when I come, I don't want to see no talk. Make we go on it, make, 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 make we trash it out there. I don't want to see no talk. So all who attack, I've heard that there are arguments among the brethren. But when I come, I'm not looking for words. I'm looking for the demonstration of the power of the Holy Spirit. And the Bible says, from henceforth, know ye no man by the flesh. You see, you see why people deceive we? Because we know them by the flesh. Yes, we know sister, sister Joan. And we know sister Jen. Aye, a good woman them. Good woman man. And then here you see him out. We say she a good woman. But I mean here, say, sister Jen, I walk over here. You never know Sister Jen really, not you. Because you knew Sister Jen by the flesh. But the Holy Spirit said from henceforth, because I have come, know ye no man by the flesh again, but by the Spirit. So when I look at you, I must see the demonstration of the power of the Holy Ghost upon your life. A lot of dry believers walking up and down. You ever realize it? A lot of dry persons walking up and down. And, 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 and the, 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 no power, no fire, no authority. Oh, full of words. But we're not full of power. Full of words, full of talking. Oh, but you can't demonstrate the power of the Holy Ghost. You see, we must become witnesses. For God. And you might ask the question. Witnesses. Witnesses. Let me tell you. The word for witness. In the Bible is a word called. A Greek word. Called martos. Martos. The same word also means. To give evidence. To be a record. Amen. And it also means. To be a martyr. To be a martyr for Christ. And so, if we are to examine being a witness, we have to understand that we must be the person to give evidence of the thing of which we speak. And so this morning when I heard the testimony, I said, there goes a witness. There goes an event where he can stand up and testify that God has done something so powerful for him. He could have catch a fire and burn up in there. Amen? But when you look at it, witness goes out into the world and witness what you have seen, what you have handled, what you have encountered with the Lord. But because we are not going deep enough into the spirit, we not encounter nothing. That's why we can't tell people nothing. Why do you think we're afraid to go there? The songwriter said, look what the Lord has done. 
Look what the Lord has done. He healed my body. He saved my soul. He baptized me with the Holy Ghost. That's a witness. I, he healed my body. I can speak and testify. That's why Revelation 12 says, These are they who have overcome him by the blood of the Lamb and the word of their testimony. We are trying God enough. Are we putting God on, 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 on the front page and say, Lord, I want something to witness to people about. Are we doing that? Are we doing that? Are we are comfortable in the situation that we are in? There's a lot of believers walking nowadays who has made, what do you call it now? They have made room for, for sickness. They have made room for lack. They have made room for the devil in their life so that nowadays, if you see them, they are comfortable with the situation they are in. They are comfortable. You ever realize it? I, 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 there is something about the woman who, and the unjust judge that the woman is saying, I am not comfortable where I am. And that's why I'm coming to you every day. Lord, if you don't heal me, Oh, I can't live anymore. Mighty God, if you don't change my situation, I can't, he I can't live anymore. Oh, but somehow we will make room. And every day we get up. Oh, Lord. You're paying more than me. Mm. Oh, Lord. You know, this situation, die, I die. Stress, stress. And we, and we are comfortable. There is no stirring in our hearts by the Holy Spirit to say, get out of that place. There is nothing that is pricking us and saying to us, get up and dust off your shoes. And so the, 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 the nowadays believer is too busy with their problem. They can't see problem of the world. Father, before we go out there, daddy, Peter, before we go out there, Jesus, may I have a look at the situation around us. And if you're not, if, Father, your foot not good. And they must say, if you go out there, go evangelize. And your foot not good. So I can't go out there, you know. They must, God, you know, you understand. This is how we approach the things of God. Telling him the things we lack in. And the things that, 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 why we can't. Even though he says, you're more than overcomers. Through him, Christ Jesus. And so, because the church can't even deal with their problem. We don't even start yet. We don't even start yet. Fear affect your world. Well, if a church politics. Hmm. Oh, no, they can't. Yeah, Holy Ghost, I want to look hot. Too much isms and schisms in the body. Oh, Holy Ghost, help me. Too much. No, 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 no. All of these things. And all, we, we've been trying for so long, but we can't get it right yet. And so, while we are in here, running up and down with each other, the world is out there doing what the world does. In sin and lust, and there is not a voice to say, there is a God who can save. And so, as believers, we must aim to go out into every crease and crevice. Every corner of the world. Every corner of Jamaica. We're going to start at Jamaica first. Because it's bad. It's bad, bad, bad. I don't even reach America and England. We could just start at this little rock here. It's very bad. That we can't go there. And uh, Listen, when you go there and preach to people, you know. The first thing they might tell you. Boy, I can't even hear where you I'm hungry. Uh, yeah, yeah, we went out there the other day. Pastor, I hear what you say, but I can't hear. The situation is dire. And so, if we just go with the word alone, 
Oh, we are going to effect change. If we go and you preach and you tell a person that God is the God who provides. And you can't look on them and say, woman, go and get an empty jar and collect up all of the jar them where you can't collect. And lock the door and go into your room and start pour oil. We're not, we're not saying nothing yet. We're not saying nothing yet. If we can't, when we are past the man upon the street and he said, give me a dollar. You say, silver and gold, I have none. But what I have, I give to you freely. Get up and walk. We're still playing church. We still play in church. If we can't go there and say to the multitude, do it stand before we and call long bread from heaven? We're still in up trouble. God, no fight things impossible in our mind. Eh? You know, we could, we could be out there. And the people on there we say, Lord, send a helper. And when you look one little restaurant, come and say, Pastor, I don't know. Holy Spirit said, if you bring some food. <laughs> Holy Spirit said, if you bring some food. Make we just bring some, we are bringing some food. Do, do we yearn for the moving of God anymore? Do we yearn for the things of God and the power of God to move within our midst? Do we want these things anymore? Or we just want to come to church and go home? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I that we want. We just want to put on our clothes on a Sunday morning. I, I think... I don't, think, I don't think you're going to invite me back in. <laughs> I'm hearing something. I'm hearing something. That, no. I'm cussing come because we. I'm cussing come because we out. And tell we how, how we look good, but we are not nothing. No, 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 no. I'm a messenger. I'm a messenger. I am a messenger. And I just bring the message as I hear it in my spirit. I, I, I'm a messenger. No offense to anybody in this place. I know you're all decent and nice people, but I'm a messenger for Christ. This morning, I just come to tell you what the Lord has laid on my heart to tell you this morning. And I just have to drop it and leave it and, and, and go back to my local country where me I come from. I feel like a barack this morning. I just come here to do a work. And then when I do the work, I just go back to my local country and maybe you never see me again. But I come to tell you this morning, we need to go out there. And we can't go out there without power. We can't go out there without anointing. The world not going to believe we. They're not going to believe us. How can you say God is the God that heals and yet still one day in front of we and not get no healing? No, there's a deeper place. There's a higher calling. We have to come up higher as a church because the world is out there and we can't affect them. Then, Lord, something is wrong. Believers, it's time to start to ascend the mountain of God. It's time to start going deeper. The man servant said, a thousand cubits. I, I, I stretched a line, a thousand cubits. And the water was at my ankle. I stepped on it a thousand and the water came to my knee. Believers, we need to go deeper. Believers, we need to come deeper. Because the anointing needs to come upon us. Young boy, you now believe you. When you come and you put your hand upon him and say, no, no weapon formed against you shall prosper. And every tongue that rises up against you shall be condemned. He's supposed to feel good and go out there and say, nothing can touch me. But no, no, no. Uber man tell him, say, wear that ring. You see how much guard ring? Eh? Because they feel the gathering of the power to protect. And the church don't know the God who overall protect. Because we are praying for people. And then I get gunned down in our street. We have a talk truth, you know. If you go home and your wife can't talk to you, fine. If you go home and your husband can't talk to you, fine. If you go home and your children can't talk to you, fine. Your mother, your father, fine. But when you come to church and God is speaking to you, if he lick you, he lick you. Ooh, hold your foot and go on. If he lick you, he lick you. Just hold your belly and go on. Because we don't come to please men. We come to preach the gospel of God. And I'm saying to Kingston who opened Bible this morning. We need to affect. And not just one I know. And not just Reverend King alone. Need to affect Jamaica. Kingston who opened Bible. We are a big church. We need to go there and affect people. God say I send you 
in the highways and in the byways. What, what, listen, if you realize something, you know, Jesus spent 30 years walking up and down as God incarnate. And we never seen do no much miracle, not true. But when he was baptized and the Holy Spirit descended upon him like a dove, he decided that now is the time. Make we go out there, no man, because I have the power to go. So let us go. And so we have generations that are coming, and we are gonna stand by and allow them. If you forget Jesus, more than how they, why you think Sunday school so empty? They are forgetting Jesus. Why you think Sunday school so empty? The people around us don't affect the, the, that that thing. Pick me the ayah that tell mommy, 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 go. Mommy, we're not going to church today. Pastor preached too long. All right, dear. Then, then we can't affect we even with household. We can't affect with brother. Where they be sideways. Where, where, where him in a lodge. And you did there, you can't affect no change in him. Make we never touch the world yet. Make we touch the yard. We, we, we are supposed to be the light of the world. But yet still, our lights are going dimmer and dimmer every day. I pray for a fire. For real light some away. I pray for a fire to ignite in our bosom and in our spirit this morning. That when we, 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 we just can't hold with peace. We just can't hold with peace. A fire that will make you get up and get going. Ah. And so... I hear some men have much time. Let me go. And so, in concluding, I reiterate the points. We must develop a hunger for the things of God. We must demonstrate the power of the Holy Spirit. And we must become witnesses for God. Somebody just stand to your feet and let us give God some praise in this place. Yes, Lord, you are worthy to be praised this morning. You're worthy to be lifted up this morning. You're worthy to be exalted this morning. You are the most high God. Listen, we don't have a lot of time. Make we praise God, no man. Jesus soon coming up. We don't have a lot of time. We think we have a whole heap of time. But we are going to live until we're all angry. But what if God put in his appearance tomorrow? What if Jesus decide that he's going to show up tomorrow? Where will you be? Where will we be if God decide to put in his appearance? No. Some of us are here. We don't even reach to the point where we accept Jesus as our Lord and Savior. Mm. Somebody come this morning. I want to pray for you. Somebody come this morning. I want to pray for you. You're going through a hard time. And we must demonstrate the power of the Holy Ghost this morning. We must demonstrate that God is still God this morning. Somebody come this morning. I want to pray for you in Kingston Open Bible this morning. Jesus. Jesus. Yes, it is Jesus. I know it is Jesus. It is Jesus in my soul.
intercessor in this place. Who's there an intercessor in this place? There's a deliverance here this morning. There's a breakthrough here this morning. The Lord said, your strength will never fail you. Your strength will never fail you. The Lord said, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. There's a fullness of time. Hold on. Your strength shall never fail you in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Jesus. Woman. Woman. Yeah. Many are the afflictions of the righteous. Many are your afflictions this morning, say the Holy Spirit. Ah, this morning I pray for you that every plan of the enemy will come to naught in the name of Jesus Christ. I pray that everything that they have said negative over your life will not come to pass in the name of Jesus Christ. Jesus. Jesus. Father, touch her. Touch her, Holy Ghost. Mm, just shh. Shh. Come here, come here, come here, Nurse. Give her some space. Yes, you. Hey. Give me a hand. No, your right hand. Give me a hand. Hallelujah. What is all the Lord will make new? Mm, they they back who do bo sea. Come come somebody. Hey da ba see an emi you no no mo sea. Hey ba see kiri bi you do bo sea. What is old? Mm, what is old? The Lord will make new. Hey ba da ba see you do bo sea. I ka da ba see an emi you no no mo sea. I declare. Ah da 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 see you do bo sea. That there is a new and fresh anointing. That is upon you right now. I declare the fire of the Holy Spirit upon you right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Fresh. Fresh anointing. Fresh anointing. Jesus. 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 Hello, Madonna. Ah, hello, woman, woman. Look at me. Look at me, miss. Look at me. The Lord said, "This time, it's time now. It's time now." The Lord said, I've been knocking. I've been calling. The Lord said, how long will you run from me? How long will you run from me, woman? Say the Lord this morning. The Lord said, he wants to give you a new day. You have been longing for so long. But you, you, you just don't want to put away certain things. But I declare over your life that the bonds that tie you to the world is broken right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Jesus, Jesus, woman, listen to me. Give your life to the Lord. Give your life to the Lord. Give your life to the Lord. The Lord said, I'm giving you one more chance. One more chance this morning. You're not coming. You're coming. You're coming. You're coming. You're coming. When is coming? Oh, how oh, long no ya come? How oh, long no ya come? Me know how oh, long no ya come, but you can't come. Come here, come here, come here. Somebody stretch your hand to him. 
I lose you from the disappointment of the world. I lose you from the disappointment of the world. I lose you to walk in, in the spirit of the Holy Spirit this morning. You, 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 you see, there is a way to walk, but you're not walking the walk. The Holy Ghost, you're not walking the walk. But I call you to a new path in the name of Jesus Christ. The world now have nothing for you again, hear? You hear me? Don't go back. Don't, don't leave from the altar and go back to the world. It has nothing for you. Man of God. Blessing. I hear the Holy Spirit say blessing. Ah, bless beyond compare. Bless beyond measure. Touch your fist. Bless beyond measure. I release a double portion upon you right now in the name of Jesus Christ. I lose you right now. You're going to be a kingdom financier in the name of Jesus Christ. You shall run and not be weary and you shall walk and not faint. There's a new day coming for you. Father, I stretch my hand over your people right now. Holy Ghost, I stretch my hand over them right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Hey, the Lord says, I see you. <laughs> you see, you're like the woman who pushed her way into Jesus' presence this morning. The Lord says, I see you. I hear your heart. And you're crying out for more. More I give to you today. In the name of Jesus Christ. Receive more. Receive more. Receive more. Mm, Jesus. Father, I stretch my hands over them now. Father, every broken heart right now, I decree mighty God and newness in them in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, I decree a fresh anointing upon your people right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, I decree, mighty God, that every lazy feet shall become alive right now in the spirit in the name of Jesus Christ. I decree they shall run and not be weary and they shall walk and not faint right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Mighty God, I hear you say you're building an army in this place, mighty God, and they shall run and effect change in the world in the name of Jesus Christ. I come against the spirit of complacency. I come against the spirit of pride. I come against the spirit mighty God that will want to come upon them. Mighty God when they go to bed at night and they can't sleep in the name of Jesus. I cancel it. I decree mighty God that there is a new a new a renewing of spirits at this altar right now in the name of Jesus Christ there is a new fire at this altar right now in the name of Jesus Christ oh father the, 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 the multitude is here come upon them Holy Ghost come upon them Holy Spirit I decree in the name of Jesus you will never be the same again I leave you in the care of the Holy Ghost in Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. Those that are not Christians, we just want you to remain. The others that are Christians can go back to your seat. If you are not a Christian, just remain at the halter just for a few more minutes. If you are not a Christian, just remain at the altar. You are not a Christian. And if you are in the audience and you are not a Christian, we invite you also to come to the altar as well. The preacher topic this morning was a godly heritage. Do you want to be a part of this heritage? Do you want to be a part of the family of God? He would have explained all that is happening in the world. Now is the time for you to come into the kingdom of God and to demonstrate that power that the preacher made mention of. So you are not a Christian. Those here at the altar, I just want you to say this simple prayer after me. And if you say this prayer and you believe you are saved, you are a new person, just repeat after me. Father, forgive me of my sins. Come into my heart. Jesus, I acknowledge that you are the Son of God, 
born of the Virgin Mary, died for my sins, but rose again. Jesus, write my name in the Lamb's book of life so that when you return, there I will be also. Amen. Father, heaven is rejoicing even now for those who have said that prayer and God we just seal them for your honor we seal them for your glory and God we release that anointing that power of the Holy Spirit upon them even now in the name of Jesus we pray God that they will transform lives even now in the name of Jesus. So we just put them into your care and give you thanks in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Those at the altar, we're just going to ask that you go with the, the, the counselors behind you and they will um, just take some information from you and you come, will come back to the, to the service. Can we just lift our hands and uh, give God praise? This is the Holy Spirit at work this morning. So we really give God thanks for what he's doing. Um, get your tithes and your offering in hand as um, we are about to do the, the offering and announcement. Young brother Sean, um, those remember that we have facilities at the back of the church for those who don't walk with cash. So you can go to the back of the church to, um, to transact um, whatever transaction that needs to be done. Father, we just thank you for what you have given unto us. Thank you, God, for continuing to provide for your people. And even now, God, we know that you are no man's debtor. God, you would have known the various, or you know the various situation. So we just pray, God, for a release, a financial blessing upon your people as they give to the enhancement of your kingdom. In Jesus' name, amen. Good morning, church. All right, these are the announcements for Sunday, April 21st, 2024. Please join us for prayer meeting as follows. Tuesdays and Wednesdays at 5 a.m. to 6 a.m. Saturdays at 6 a.m. to 7 a.m. And online, Zoom ID is 834-1664-8559. And the passcode is PRAY. Prayer continues in the sanctuary Tuesday and Wednesday mornings, 7.30 to 9 a.m. Thursday, which is the Mountain Movers prayer meeting and fasting, is at 9 to 12 noon in the sanctuary. Prayer meeting and Bible study is held on Tuesdays at 7 p.m. in the sanctuary and via YouTube. The topic is the seven churches in Revelation, and the presenter is our Dr. Joan Pinkney. All night prayer meeting will be held this Friday, April 26, starting at 10 p.m. to Saturday, April 27, at 6 a.m. Sunday school is held in person every Sunday at 9.15 a.m. The Overcomers, which is the youth of our church, meet on Fridays at 7 p.m., in person and via Zoom. And the Zoom ID is 749-184-4974 and the passcode is Overcomers. The Overcomers Regional Youth Evening Service will be held next Sunday, April 28th at the New Life Open Bible Church starting at 4 p.m. and all are invited. Please continue to pray for the sick, shut-in, seniors and bereaved members. Sister Angela Marshall, who is, this, who is sick, wife of brother Gary Marshall. The following members of the choral has, have lost family members. Sister Kelly Welsh has lost her mother-in-law. Our brother Mark Dundas has lost an uncle. And our sister Susan Smith has lost her father. Sister Lorna Samuels, former member of this church, who was a member of the Greater Portmore Open Bible Church, passed away. The funeral for Kemora Moody, which is the daughter of our sister Sonia Moody, will be held on Saturday, May 11 at 11 a.m. A prayer meeting will be held in Henderson Hall on Monday, April 22, which is tomorrow, starting at 6.30 p.m. The funeral for Mr. Leslie Walker, the son of 
late Sister Millicent Hines will be held at the Boulevard United Church on Friday, May 3rd, starting at 11 a.m. These are the announcements. Please continue to enjoy the rest of the service. name of the Lord. Praise God. Praise God. Can we put our hands together for CITES, our Bible school? <laughs> Praise God. And for our brother Zachary, I pray that you continue to pray for the young man as he continues to preach the word with clarity and authority. Before we do the benediction, I'm going to invite all the Bible school members, past students, and present to stand and let us do the Bible school song, an open Bible for the world. May this our glorious motto be, on every breeze its flag unfurled shall scatter blessings. Praise God. Here we go. As our beloved musicians know, the humble servant is hearing impaired in one ears. So Brother Amardo knows this. That's all right. Thank you very much, Brother Amardo, for your kindness. Let us go. And he will catch up. An open Bible for the world. May this our glorious matter be. On every breeze's flag unfurl Shall scatter blessings rich and free Bless word of God Send forth thy light O'er every land and every sea And all who wander in the night Are led to God and heaven by me it shows to men it shows to men the father's face all radiant with forgiving love and to the lost of heaven's grace proclaim sweet mercy from above bless word of together for CITES one more time. Church, next week is National Youth Service. I am begging you, invite out the young people that you know that are at home to come out next week, National Youth Service. It's going to be a wonderful service and we are going to reserve, I think, those three rows for young people. So when you come next week, just sit anywhere in these three rows next week young people and those will be going to the evening service we are asking you to please register so that we can um, provide a transportation so we're asking you to do so by the latest tuesday amen church shall we stand together as we fix our hearts to leave the sanctuary and this beautiful Sunday morning worship service, but never the presence of the Lord. Amen, church. Were you blessed? I trust you are blessed. Put your hands together for the Lord, man. God is good. God is good. And for those online and for those on the radio, we really do hope and trust that your hearts were blessed as well. And if you have received the Lord as Savior, we have information that you can get in touch with us here at Church of the Open Bible. Shall we raise our right hands and bow our heads? The Lord bless us and keep us. The Lord cause his face to shine upon us and be gracious unto us. 
May he lift up the light of his countenance upon us and give us his peace from this time forth and forevermore. In Jesus' name we pray. And God's people say, Amen. Amen. Greet someone as you leave the sanctuary. Bless up somebody and the Lord bless you. Sister Sandy.